So NBA 2K23 season two trailer just dropped. And I gotta admit, at first I wasn't too impressed. I'm not gonna lie. But then after kind of settling in and looking at everything, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of... I'm kind of hyped for the Jabberwocky thing. I'm not going to lie. I think that's a nice little cosmetic change, you know, to kind of change up everybody looking the same and wearing the same things. I mean, of course, you're going to have other 40s that are wearing it more than likely. But, hey, I would definitely rather put this on than the suit. Of course, we're probably going to get some of the same other things as well, maybe some more badge points, a couple animations, um, and, of course, like a couple of the, uh, what's like, little jump shot animation things. But, you know, who knows? They might surprise us with a couple other things around level 35 and up. But, at any rate, man, we also got past patch notes these patch notes are actually pretty tough i'm not gonna lie they actually did patch a couple things one of which i've already benefited from which was the slashing thing uh, my slashing badges the tier three i couldn't court and they actually addressed that in today's patch there's a couple other things as well um, that we can go through uh fixing air balls no longer happen after doing slightly early and slightly late this is actually really really good for a lot of people um because especially like if you're playing the wreck or anything like that you understand that when you slightly early and you air ball people don't pass you the ball anymore they're just not i'm not gonna pass you the ball anymore because why are you air balling i know it's out of a lot of people's control but there's also a couple of things too that mm, i don't really know if that really matters or not like allowing the ball to no longer swish when you green window it all the time sometimes the ball will literally just rattle around the rim uh i guess it's to add to realism but i mean at the end of the day i don't want a heart attack off of off of a green we already know 2k is definitely good for making greens not go in so i i really just don't see the point in doing that they added a couple things around the city as well court status overlays are up now um they reduced a little hang about the whole thing with you know when you win a game on the my court they make you stand there for a long ass time they changed that kind of stuff too but overall i'm not really seeing anything that's super super game breaking or anything that really changes the fundamental ways of how to play uh they haven't patched steel they haven't patched uh slashing or anything like that i'm not saying that those things need patching but if you're looking for anything like that within the patch notes it's not there they're not they didn't really evaluate anything like that overall i'm still pretty happy with nba 2k i'm super super happy they did not patch anything involving shooting i still feel like shooting is perfect i still think it's in the right spot um i looked at some of my old gameplay from older 2ks and i used to make a lot of earlies a lot of full whites I don't want to see people doing that to me. I don't want to lose a game because a guy missed time the shot and it still went in. I'm, I'm perfectly fine with maybe one out of every 50 shots somebody hits a slightly early or a full white. So overall, I think 2K is still very much a W. You guys let me know down below what you think. I would love to hear it. And I will see you guys in the next video.